What's happening guys? Quick Tip Tuesday here today. So if you've been following along in our audio series, you probably already know this tip, but if you haven't, today I'm gonna give you five ways that you can add audio effects onto your audio clips and tracks. So let's jump into the video. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I've got two clips in my timeline, and now I'm gonna show you five different ways that we can add effects onto these clips or tracks. All right, so the first method that we wanna use is dropping it on a clip. Let's say we want some noise reduction on one specific clip. How do we do that? So the first thing we need to do is come on up to our effects library. Go ahead and click on that. And you wanna check on the left-hand side here, come down to Fairlight Effects. Now let's say I wanted to add in some noise reduction and I only needed to add it onto one specific clip. Well, I can just click on this, drag it down and drop it on whatever clip I might wanna put it on. Once I do that, it's gonna pop up the window for me. You can make changes here, do whatever you might wanna do. And this effect is applied to just that one specific clip. And the reason for this is that sometimes you don't wanna put it on the whole track. You just need it on a particular clip or a couple clips. So that's how you can get an effect right onto one clip here in the edit tab. Now let's say I wanted to add noise reduction to the entire track. Now this is gonna work for all of these effects that we have in our effects library here, so keep that in mind. So if I wanted to add noise reduction to the entire track, I can click on it, drag it, and instead of dropping it on a clip right here, if I drop it over here on the track, it's gonna apply it to the entire track. Now how do we know it's on the whole track? Well, one way is if we look over here in our mixer, Right there, you see FX. So you know one effect is applied onto the track, or at least one effect. Doesn't tell you what it is here in the edit tab, but at least you know it's there. And if you wanted to double check it, you can jump over into Fairlight. So if you come on over here, click on the little musical notes at the bottom. Now we're in Fairlight. And if you have your mixer open, you see right here. And if you don't know how to open your mixer at the top here, here's your mixer right here. Click that, it'll open it right up. Now, if we look in our track, this is our audio one track. We can see right here, noise reduction. It's effect applied to the entire track. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this because the third way here that we can add an effect onto a clip is right here in the Fairlight page. And it's essentially the exact same way that we added it in the edit page. So come on over, open your effects library that you'll see over here at the top left. Make sure you're in your audio effects and then you've got all your effects here. You can grab whatever you want, drag it and just drop it onto one of your clips. Now I've got a stereo track here with stereo clips, which is why you see the right and left. But if I drop it on there, it'll apply it to both clips of the stereo track. So in this case, I use the multiband compressor. And if you look at my clips, we have the FX right here. And that's telling us that there's an effect applied to that clip. Now if I just move this out of the way here, you see on this clip, there is no FX because the effect is only applied onto this clip. So I'm going to go ahead and just undo this again here. Now, if you want to add it to the entire track, again, just like in the edit tab, you can click on your clip, drag it and drop it onto the track name, like over in this area, right in here, just drop it. And then boom, we'll pop up the window for you. And if we look in our mixer over here, you're going to see the effect in the effects area. And that tells you it's applied to the entire track. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Now the fifth and final way, and probably the way that I most commonly add effects onto a track, because generally I do effects on a track level for most of the kind of things that I do, is I'm gonna do it right here in the mixer in the Fairlight page. Now you're not gonna find these options in the mixer if you're in the edit page, so if you're looking for it, you got the mixer open, you're like, hey, Jay, it's not there. I can't find it. Where is it? It might be because you're in the edit page, not in Fairlight. So again, make sure you're in the tab with the little notes down here, and that'll make sure you're in the Fairlight page. So if you don't see your effects right here, there's a few things that you can do to make sure it's showing. Obviously, we want the mixer open, and as we already discussed, the mixer's right here. But if you don't see the word effects right here, come on to these three little dots, go ahead and click on that, and you want to come and make sure that effects is checked on. Now, if you see too much stuff in your window, you can turn some of these other things off if you'd like, but you want to make sure effects is turned on. Now, when you're looking in the mixer, it might look like this and you're like, there's no effects there. I can't find it. Where's the effects? But what you really got to do is just scroll your middle mouse wheel a little bit, and then you're going to be able to scroll through the different options that are here. So again, you just come to your effects, click on the plus, boom, here's all your effects. You can go through and pick anything that you might want or might want to use on your particular track. And this is the most common way that I use and add effects onto my tracks here in DaVinci Resolve. So if you guys like this tip, you might want to click up over here and watch our audio series, learn about all the effects, or maybe you want to check out some other audio videos down there, or uh, check out some other DaVinci Resolve videos, whatever pops up down there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe for me, hit that bell too, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.